Well, as you heard Angela read a brief snippet from the uh, Jericho story, I just want to give you a little bit more background. I know some of you leave here and you go home and you get your Bibles out, but not everybody does. So, the uh, story of Jericho, in the whole book of Joshua, takes place in the time after the, uh, the people that brought out of Egypt and being moved into the promised land, the land of Canaan, as it's referred to. And it's really a long period of time where they gradually and sometimes suddenly take over that territory. And they do so because God has told them that it's going to be yours. But as is often the case in human history, there's somebody else already living there. So what that means is the book of Joshua is a book of war. And this is a battle where the Israelites are told to take down the city of Jericho and to knock down the walls. And as you heard Angela read this morning, it's done by circling those walls, and blowing trumpets, making a lot of noise, and then God brings the walls down. It's an interesting story. You can believe it or not believe it as you wish. When I was in seminary, back in the uh, late 80s, early 90s, we often asked our professors if these stories were true, and not necessarily literally true, but was there a city of Jericho? Was there really a wall? Did it really come down? There's an amazing magazine called Biblical Archaeology. It comes out every month. There's so much going on in the world of Biblical Archaeology that you can publish a magazine every month about it. And when I was in seminary, they discovered the walls of Jericho, and they discovered them pretty much broken and tumbled down. And it was a it was a great, fascinating discovery. We all talked about it in seminary. And we still wonder exactly how those walls came down. And as you will see in the play today, that's, uh, that's exactly the question that this play tries to answer. Now, the two, there's a theme that connects these two plays, but you don't have to look very to find it. And that's the last thing I'll say. In both of these plays, the other's about Noah and the animals on the ark. In both of these plays, you will find that when God says something's going to happen, it happens. Thank you. And welcome to the Jericho Two-Step. Well, this goes on for six days. 
Yeah. But this morning, they do something different. What's that? They don't just circle the city one time. No. They don't just circle the city two times. No. They circle the city seven times. That's when I knew something was up. No one has ever just circled our city seven times. Well, now, of course, there was that army from Odd. But they fought one too many battles without their helmets on. If you know what I mean. I've heard about that. Well, anyway, after Joshua and his army circled our city for the seventh time, the seven priests take out their ram horn trumpets and just start blasting away. So what did you do? I covered my ears, of course. I'm not into heavy horn. <laughs> so then, what happened? Well, those priests keep blasting away, and their entire Next thing you know, we're having an open house. <laughs> How did the wall fall down? Beats me. We've had earthquakes that haven't done this much damage. Well, there must have been some kind of trick behind it. Walls don't fall down all by themselves, you know. But I saw them. They never laid a hand on it. How do you explain it then? Well, I did know we're here. One of their men saying it was their God who was responsible. Their God? Yep. Doesn't he like walls? Apparently he doesn't like ours. <laughs> <laughs> so then what did this Joshua and his army do? Well, then they came in and slew everyone in Jericho. But you escaped. Well, you see, I don't actually live in Jericho, but I did all my shopping there. <laughs> I guess you won't anymore. Do you realize it took years to build this wall? This God of Joshua knocks it down with a trumpet blast and a shout. I sure wouldn't want to do battle with a god like that. I know. I told them that they should have stuck to fighting that army from Odd. <laughs>